sneak air superiority and then roll in with your tanks on Mr. the ground Brown, like uh, Troopus' lawsuits. Blitzkrieg. Mr. Brown, but yes, the, question, ma the question was about taxes. Back when we, they told me that we couldn't homeschool, I prayed about it. I stood on my hind legs like a man. I told them what I thought of them, and the, the television would talk to me for 30 minutes or an hour. And As it says in my motorcycle club, hey, diddle, diddle, right up the middle. That's my style. Our wolves, they're here because we let somebody put them here. Uh, Governor Otter wants to kill a wolf. I did kill a wolf while it was still on endangered species. So that was a crazy year in Republican politics in the state of Idaho. That was their Republican gubernatorial debate that year. Those were their candidates for governor. This was 2014. The incumbent governor was Butch Otter, a pretty conservative Republican with a real fun name. Uh, but he was not conservative enough for right-wing activists in Idaho who wanted to primary him out of office. That year, Idaho conservatives threw their support mostly behind a Tea Party challenger. He's the guy you see on the right side, far right side of the stage. But when it came time for the candidates to debate, nobody paid much attention to the Tea Party guy because, oh my God, who's the biker guy and what's with the hey diddle diddle from him? And why did that 120-year-old man just say he killed a wolf and his TV talks just to him? Butch Otter would go on to win that gubernatorial primary and the election that year. He served as governor in Idaho for another four years. Um, but at the end of that four years, when Butch Otter left office, he endorsed his lieutenant governor, a man named Brad Little, to be his replacement. It's like a fairy tale. Butch Otter handing off to Brad Little. Now, which of the one that eats is the one that eats no fat and which one eats no lean? It's just it's part of the joy of covering Idaho Republican politics. Butch Otter endorses his lieutenant governor, Brad Little. Brad Little becomes governor. The person who replaces him to the, become the new lieutenant governor uh, was this person. All of us are, by nature, free and equal and have certain inalienable rights, among which are enjoying and defending life and liberty, acquiring, possessing, and protecting property, and pursuing happiness and securing safety. Wait for it. Here comes the gun. Here comes the gun. Uh, that's Idaho's current lieutenant governor, Janice McEachin. She was brandishing a gun in that video in order to keep her Bible warm and in order to pressure the governor, her boss, that he should undo COVID rules back in 2020. One time when Governor Little left the state, uh, McEachin actually took it upon herself to, to announce that she had seized the powers of the governorship and proclaimed the state's mask and vaccine rules to be hereby null and void because the governor was out of town. Earlier this year, Ms. McGeechan participated in a white supremacist conference at which attendees cheered on Vladimir Putin for invading Ukraine. She's also, as, as you probably guessed by now, an enthusiastic election denier. The reason I'm telling you all of this is because tomorrow, that lieutenant governor, Janice McGeechan, is going to face off against her boss, the incumbent governor, Brad Little, in the Idaho Republican primary for governor. Naturally, because she's an election denier, Janice McEachin earned the endorsement of former President Donald Trump. She's not the only right-wing election denier running for statewide office in Idaho. There's no incumbent in the Secretary of State in Idaho. Two of the three Republican candidates who are running to be Secretary of State are also election deniers who say that President Trump won the election and President Biden is a usurper. The Republican attorney general in Idaho is also being primaried tomorrow by another election denier. I know there's a lot of attention on the Pennsylvania Republican primary tomorrow, where there is deep, deep insanity <laughs> in the Republican primary races for governor and Senate and even for lieutenant governor. But I'm telling you, don't sleep on Idaho. Idaho is tomorrow, too, and there is plenty of crazy to go around. Watch this space.